Hey everybody, welcome to The Warp. I'm Jack Rita, and I've been going through the catalog of Fantasy Flight Aliens to decide for myself what is the best alien that starts with each letter of the alphabet. In this video, we're going to be talking about the letter W, and there are a few aliens, or a half a dozen aliens or so, that start with W, and a number that are pretty decent. I think a lot of people like Will, because you really can just uh, challenge, uh, encounter whoever you want, whenever you want. So you're not beholden to the Destiny deck. Um, and you can target people's uh, foreign colonies, which is kind of nice. So that was a contender. Um, it helps you to win a little bit, but not by a very big margin. Um, a couple of the new aliens uh, for Fantasy Flight, Rack and Witch, have got some fun uh, elements. Um, but, you know, like Witch... Again, you're not really getting anything um, because you're it's you're getting something for losing, which is not where you want to be. So I think there's a, a clear winner, um, and for me, it's going to be Warpish, the classic alien, a base game alien. Let's take a look at what Warpish does, and I'll go into more why I think it's the best W alien in the Fantasy Flight edition. So Warpish has the power of necromancy. As a main player, after you reveal an attack card in an encounter, use this power to add one to your total for each ship, yours or otherwise, in the warp. Very straightforward. One of the shortest aliens in the game. Um, pretty short, uh, pretty straightforward, and um, pretty powerful. Now, of course, on the very first encounter, Warpish doesn't do anything. And, and if the first few encounters involve deals, there's not going to be anybody in the warp. But the more common, uh, the more usual outcome is after a couple of encounters, uh, there's going to be some ships in the warp. And not unusually, once you've gotten into like the third or fourth player's turn, the warp is usually quite full. There's a lot of ships in there. And it doesn't take long, especially in a game with a high player count. So the higher the player count, the more powerful warpish is. And that is because you're going to have more players with more ships on the losing side, encounter after encounter, adding to Warpish's power. So it, it's pretty normal in the games that I play, which are going to be five or six players most of the time, sometimes even higher, rarely ever lower than that, um, where uh, one encounter in, uh, Warpish is adding a plus eight, plus 10, plus 12 to their encounter total. Uh, two or three turns in, you're in the 20s, maybe even higher. Just depends on what other aliens are in the game that could always have an effect on things. Um, and, and other sorts of variants in the game can also lead to uh, a higher or lower ship count. So Warpish in a game with evolutions, players are not uh, putting as many, they're not as committing as many ships to their encounters. Um, so not as many ships will end up in the warp. Warpish is not as strong in a game with evolutions on the whole. Just depends, but it's a fun uh, added bit of uh, horror that the players have to deal with in terms of their ship count. Of course, in a game with the Void, where they're eradicating ships and they're not going to the warp, Warpish is not a fan of that. And Healer, of course, is Warpish's nemesis. Um, it's only going to be Healer ships in the warp most of the time. Maybe Warpish's ships. Who knows? Probably not, though, because Healer doesn't want Warpish to get any kind of advantage. So... Warpish has to worry about that, has to worry about a couple of Mobius tubes in the game resetting things and weakening Warpish for an encounter or two, maybe longer, just depends. Um, so yes, to work around Warpish, you want to make a lot of deals as much as possible. Commit very few ships, uh, the lowest that you can think you can get away with most of the time, so that when you are losing, you're not adding a lot to Warpish's subsequent totals in encounters. Um... So there you have it. Those are my thoughts. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you agree that Warpish is the best alien that starts with the letter W. Uh, if you think it's a different alien, make your case in the comments and we'll talk it over. Um, I, I've yet to be convinced that um, I haven't picked the best alien for each letter so far. Uh, but in a couple of cases, uh, there have been some interesting discussions. So I look forward to hearing from you. That's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.